Judas Iscariot, the betrayer or the misunderstood disciple. Judas Iscariot, one of the most infamous names in history. Known universally as the disciple who betrayed Jesus, his actions have echoed through time, shaping the very foundation of Christianity. But who was Judas really? Was he merely a greedy traitor, or is there more to his story? Today on Science Deli, we dive deep into the life and legacy of Judas Iscariot. Judas Iscariot's name is loaded with infamy. But what does Iscariot mean? Back in the days of Jesus, people did not have last names. Instead, epithets were used, often referring to one's place of origin. Scholars believe Iscariot indicates Judas came from the town of Cariath, making him the only disciple from Judea. Some even suggest a connection to the Sicarii, a group of Jewish rebels. Judas was the son of Simon Iscariot. The name Judas, or Judah in Hebrew, was quite common at the time. Several other individuals named Judas appear in the Bible, including Jesus' own brother and another apostle, Jude Thaddeus. But Judas Iscariot's story is distinct and deeply controversial. Judas was not just any follower of Jesus. He was the treasurer of the Twelve Apostles. According to the Gospel of John, he was also a thief, often helping himself to the group's funds. But his most notorious act was his betrayal. For 30 pieces of silver, he handed Jesus over to the chief priests. This act of betrayal, however, raises a critical question. Why did Judas do it? The Bible offers two major theories. One suggests sheer greed. The Gospel of Matthew recounts Judas asking, What are you willing to give me if I deliver him over to you? The second theory implicates Satan. Both Luke and John write about Satan influencing Judas, even entering him during the Last Supper. Was Judas merely a pawn in a divine plan, or did he act out of his own volition? After betraying Jesus, Judas was filled with remorse. He returned the silver to the chief priests and declared, I have sinned, for I have betrayed innocent blood. Overwhelmed with guilt, he ended his own life. The Gospel of Matthew and the Book of Acts provide differing accounts of his death, but both agree on its tragic nature. Interestingly, a 3rd century Gnostic text known as the Gospel of Judas paints a different picture. This text suggests that Judas acted on Jesus' instructions, portraying him not as a villain but as a necessary part of a divine plan. Could Judas have been misunderstood all along? Judas Iscariot remains one of history's most complex figures. Whether viewed as a betrayer or a tragic pawn in a larger divine scheme, his story forces us to grapple with themes of loyalty, guilt, and redemption. What do you think? Was Judas simply a bad guy, or is there more to his story? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe to Science Deli for more captivating explorations of history and science. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time on Science Deli.